LearnGuitarTunes.com on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. That was Lucy and the Sky of Diamonds. Apologies for my terrible singing, but I hope you got an idea from the intro how the song sounds by doing some beautiful little picking and combination of some chords, and hopefully you will sing a lot better than I did. So anyway, I'm going to be teaching you this right now. So stay tuned. In a minute we're going to zoom in and I'm going to show you everything. So I'm going to show you that really beautiful intro-y verse picking. It's actually quite easy. We're going to go through some amazing little chord shape kind of things going on. Very standard if you can do your typical kind of open chords. A bit of stretching, a bit alien maybe for some of you, but you know, with some practice, really cool, right? Then we're going to go into some strumming patterns and some really nice open chords as well. There are a few bar chords, but some, there are some ways around that if you can't play bar chords just yet. But I really like to challenge you, challenge yourself. Do bar chords, okay? Because you've got to do them. Because you'll find out that actually most of your favourite songs ever will have at least one or two bar chords in it. So, how did this song come about? Why am I deciding to teach you Lucy in Sky Diamonds? Other than the fact that it's probably on par with a few other songs on the Sgt Pepper album as one of my favourites. I sent out an email to all of my fans and subscribers saying, Hey look, Sgt Pepper, 49th anniversary, choose your favourite song, vote now, and I'll record you a lesson. Now... The winning song was actually a little help with my friends, which you can find somewhere on my channel. Go and have a look if you like in a minute. How to play that one. That was the winning song. But this, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, was like a millimetre percentage away from drawing, almost overtaking as the winning song. So I decided I'll record and teach both, because I love both of these. So, with a little help from my friends and Lucy in the Sky Diamonds, Voted by you, my newsletter subscribers and my fans, if you guys voted, thank you so much. I've got over, well over 250 people voted, really cool. If you want to get involved in all that kind of voting stuff, where well, the next time I send out maybe, hey, choose your favourite lick off, I don't know, an album of some sort, then if you want to get involved in all that, then just click the link below, submit your details on the other page, and by doing that, I'll also send you some cool free stuff, like a couple of ebooks. Uh, enrollment to a free guitar lesson and all that kind of jazz. I do loads of cool stuff away from my YouTube channel. So yeah, if you want to get involved in voting as well and competitions and other bits and bobs, cool. So anyway, so we're going to zoom in now, okay? And I'm going to teach you all you need to know about Lucy and the Sky with Diamonds. First of all, we're going to focus on that little intro picking, but it's also part of the verse as well, and it's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just going to go straight into this. I don't want to chat too much, okay? So the first thing we need to focus on is the ninth fret, Ooh, and the other frets, including up to the twelfth, okay? These are key areas, these four frets here, right? So I'm going to show, I'm going to kind of throw in some weird kind of shapes and we're going to, I'm going to call them, I'm not going to call them anything really, I'm just going to say like, oh, it's a bit like this or it's a bit like that essentially, um, but we're going to be starting on the ninth fret, okay, so get ready. So the first kind of shape we're going to be doing is in the key of an A, and it does start off there, which is A, A chord, so it's like A, A7, anyway, never mind about that. So, we want to get, first of all, our index finger and place it on the ninth fret of the G, like this, right? Then, we're going to be putting our middle finger on the 10th fret of the B, and then there's a bit of a stretch going on here, but you can now have to get your pinky and put it onto the um, high E string of the, which is your E string there, of the 12, right? Like this. 
Hoping you can see that. Like that. Okay, this finger here currently is spare. Okay. What I do with that finger now is I'm still in that kind of diagonally shape. Can you see how it's kind of diagonally? It's almost kind of diagonally goes up. 12, 10, 9 on the E, B, G, right? This finger's spare, and all I do is I place it, if you can see this, here on the 12th fret, okay, of the G. Now that's quite hard to do. If you can't do that because of this finger, you're more than welcome to let go of your index for the time being and get into that kind of shape there. But essentially you want to try and stay in that shape. So the first shape, then I'll put the ring finger on there, the 12th fret of the G. I stay in that shape again, but this time I just scoot that finger along. Look at my fingers here. Do you see how they're kind of in this kind of diagonally bit? As soon as I scoot this finger along to the 11th, which is what we're doing, okay, tabs below. I hope you like the tab, by the way. It's kind of a new feature in these lessons. There, like that. As soon as you put your finger up here, it's going to be sliding across the G. So, 12, 11, 10. That's where we need it to be going. Well, that's what we need the notes to be doing. Okay, so back in our first shape with our index finger. So start again, just so we're a bit more clearer now. So the first three um, patterns. So that's starting from the G string. Nine, 10, 12. Okay, ring finger up on the 12th of the G, starting from the G string again. 12, 10, 12. And scoot the finger along from the 12th now on the G up to the 11th fret of the G. And now starting from the G again, it's 11, 10, 12. The next bit is a little bit different. So the next bit, obviously I can't now get that finger onto the 10th fret because of my other finger tucked on the G uh, on the B of the 10th, so I can't get my other finger for the, the G on the 10th, it's impossible. So what I tend to do now is I actually tend to just let go of everything. It's a little bit weird because you've got to put your fingers back in this shape again, but I'm going to show you how to do all that in a minute. So what I do is I tend to let go of everything, so I've just gone... Then what I do is I place my middle finger onto the 10th fret of the G, which is that note we want to begin because we're going... 10th fret of the G, so I go, then I tuck my index finger here on the 9th, and then with my, I don't play the 9 first, that's just waiting, right? Then I get my ring finger, and I put that on the high E of the 10, and I go, 9's already there, right? So let's move this finger so it's out of the way. So I do keep it there, sometimes I do move it, sometimes I do keep it out, I do move it out of the way, so this is quite helpful for you. So you've just played that 10, Put your index down there ready, and you can lift this finger off entirely, so you've now just got that finger there. Then I get my ring finger on that 10, very quickly on the high E, and I go... And finish off on the B of the 10. So that goes 10 on the G, and then I very quickly put my 10 on the high E, 9 on the high E, and then finishes on the 10, the B. So. Hopefully that's all clear. It's a little bit fiddly, but we've got the tab below, so this hopefully should be helping you to keep along. So let's run through it all again from the very beginning, which is an A. Starting from that G string on the ninth fret, okay, so we go like this. in that shape. So, 9, 10, 12. Back up to the G again, remember to get your ring finger on the 12th fret. 
12, 10, 12, and scoot it along to the 10, again on the G, 10, sorry, scoot it up to the 11th, and the G, 11, 10, 12, and if you want to release all your fingers, on the uh, G again, 10, and then, on the high E, 10, 9, ending on the B on the 10, 10, 10, 10, 9, 10, So, it looks a little bit like this as a close-up. Just bear with me because it's quite difficult to play this as a close-up. And again, see that's the first one. So when you do that little bit, watch my fingers. Dun, dun, dun. When you end, I always keep my that note there ringing on the 9 of the high, and that one there is ringing on the B, then that stays on the B, okay, of that 10th fret. And all you now need to do is bring your index finger off the high E of the 9th, and place it back again on the G of the 9th, starting all over again, and then pinky. And by the time you've kind of placed that up there, you want to straight away be getting that G string picked. Your 10's already there, because it was from the last bar, and as you're picking those two, you want to then make sure pinky is slowly coming into it again, at the, just before you have to pick up, pick it. First one, so it's, picture yourself in a boat on a river, with tangerine trees, and So the second time round, you just play the G on the D, uh, the G on the 10th fret, it's all you play. Sky, you don't do that little, you just go, sky, skies, on that kind of whole second bit of the bar, and then you do it again, starting from the beginning. Somebody calls you, answer quite slowly. Okay, then this time again you just end on that 10th fret of the G. And then it goes into the next part of the song, which I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so some of you who might be struggling with the picking here down there on the 9, 10, 11, 12, I do want you to try and focus on the picking because that is the main part of the song, but there might be some of you struggling with that. That's fair enough, so I'm going to quickly show you the chords in that verse bit. So it goes, it starts with an A chord, so it's Picture yourself in a boat on a river They're quite pretty anyway, really nice chords actually. So it's A chord, A7 Just in an A chord, just lift your finger off, whichever finger you're using. I don't use my index finger generally when I play open chords, but if you're doing it like that, I hope you don't do it like that. Um, A7 chord is basically like an A chord, but you don't have anything pressed down on the G, right? On the G string. So it's A chord, A7, and a D chord, D minor. Back to A chord, A7, D chord, D minor. After the picking -y bit, so B flat. because it's very Beatles-y. If you don't know any chord shapes, check it out on the internet or download my ebook with all the chords that you need. It's completely free. Okay, so I'm imagining you've just kind of gone through that little sequence. You only did that once, so it's the kind of cellophane bit when it comes to the lyrics. It's cellophane fly, yellow and green. F chord. changes course and it kind of goes to a C, it goes Look for the girl with the sun G Eyes and she's gone D, D7 So that bit's, easy. That bit's quite easy Look for the girl C with the sun Her eyes and a D One strum down, two, three, four And I kind of do my four with D7 Four then it goes into the chorus. So 
done a bit of a long shot out so you can see me a bit better when I'm doing the chorus. The chorus is so easy, it's a bit of a fresh as well. It starts with G, so it's Let's G, C, T chord. Lucy and the Sky of Diamonds. The whole kind of thing loops around like that. Lucy and the Sky of Diamonds, done. Hope you like it. Work on the picking because that's the most beautiful part of it. And uh, thanks again for tuning in. If you like this, please share. Please uh, subscribe to my channel. And if you want to get involved in voting for some more stuff, if you want some free ebooks and lessons, or whatever, uh, click on the link below. Cheers now. So there you have it. I really hope you love that little picking element. And uh, you know, the shapes that I was going through just earlier on the zooming. It really is category like so important that you keep some of your fingers in those positions while you're moving other fingers around because it helps you make, make the song sound so fluid and, and almost a continuous loop. That's the key to this song, isn't it? It's that continuous loop. So stick to that. And of course, that really awesome, cool chorus as well that comes with the song. So I really hope you like this one. I love teaching it. So cool. Now, if you want to find out some more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos and I'm la la uh, launching, uh, uploading week, week in, week in, week out, every month. And also please share and like this video if you did like it, share it amongst your friends. Now, check this out, I've got a really cool little trailer video coming up right now. But thank you so much for uh, viewing this, thanks so much for staying this long and hope you've learned how to play this truly remarkably amazing song. Thanks again, and I'll see you in another lesson. Cheers now. Thanks for watching this video, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can catch all future new release lessons. Now, still getting frustrated or stuck and trying to figure out all this guitar stuff? Well, I've got you covered. Click the link below, and you'll get not one, but two guitar guides covering everything you need to know about the guitar, music theory, the nine most important open chords, my four-step formula to getting to know the guitar better, pentatonic scales, licks, riffs, blues music, 12 bar blues, and much, much more inside my exclusive two guitar guides, the ultimate guitar guide and guitar, the next level. Click the link below and on the other page, submit your name and your email and you get instant access to my two free guitar guides. Cheers now.